My name is Shavo. I play in a band called System of a Down. Ouch. Bino, my brother. This is the Velvet Hammer right here. This is Bino, our manager. Hello, what's up? So, okay, you want to hear something crazy? Rewind. When we were going to release Toxicity, they were going to do a K-Rock free show. We were expecting like 5,000, 4,000 kids and like 15,000 showed up. They said you can't play, a riot broke out. Horseback and helicopters and CNN broadcasting this crazy riot in Hollywood. Crazy. Where they had to like escort us out of there. But that caused this, you know? I knew at that point that we had a juggernaut. I mean, here's a band who's had three number one records and two in a calendar year and remains probably the most credible hard rock band in the world. I'm not a giant rock star. I play one on TV though, right? <laughs> All right. Damn. We did something cool as a band, but we also like, we had to push and push and do and I was managing the system, you know, when we started. You know, it was crazy. I used to work at a bank. In between wire transfers, I would call the Roxy up and try to ask for gigs, and they would not give us a gig. I just kept calling, and they, they would hang up on me constantly. I didn't care. I nagged the dude at the Roxy so much. Dude said, well, I don't know who you are. Can you sell tickets? And they gave me 75 tickets to sell, and we sold like 150 of them. May 28, 1995, 35 people in the crowd. We got on and 150, 200 people come in and chaos happens, a big pit blows up. So imagine 20 minutes, brrr, and then like, they all left because they didn't want to see anyone else. And all of a sudden it was 30 people again. <laughs> well, I believe in always grinding. I believe in always having a goal and doing something grateful as hell. You don't even know how grateful I am. Every day I wake up and I'm fucking grateful. Nothing for granted. I've been writing, like I haven't stopped. I have so many ideas flying out of me, I just want to create. You gotta have a vision and you gotta go with it. I'm a collaborator, I'm not a solo artist, you know what I mean? I personally love to give an idea, get an idea, put an idea out there having to do with a few of us and that's cool. You know, I think we're stronger in numbers. I kind of decided I'm gonna take a different angle. Instead of starting another band, I'm gonna start a music unit. So, cannabis has always been a part of my life. I'm gonna roll a little bit of OG. I have Mega Wellness right here from Nameless. Those guys are dope. This is like, oof, insane. People have always come up to me, we should have strains with Shavo, Shavo G, and all these like things that we can do. And so I decided I'd go, why not have a cannabis brand? I met the right people and I said, I can really represent the best quality with the best vibe. I like to show excitement. I like to inspire. I like to influence. I set that up for myself and I set it up with this. This is bigger than Shavo, the system of a down. This is like something that can go buck wild viral, you know?